Today we have a two-piece French country brake front, hutch, china cabinet, whatever you'd like to call it. It's handmade. It came in, we, we got it with a set of eight Pennsylvania House French country chairs. I don't see front, uh, rather, I don't see Pennsylvania House uh, label on this anywhere. Uh, I don't know if it was made by Pennsylvania House and it just it wasn't tagged or another company, when they, the store they bought it at, they had two different lines. A woman like this uh, Hutch, so she bought this one. So as far as the manufacturer, I do not know. I can tell you that it, this one is a, a knotty pine in a natural finish, sort of like a whitewash or pickled finish. It seems and strikes me as to be like an American-made piece, if not wherever it was made. It is a, a very good quality. It has nice big uh, ornate hinges here. It has a, a lock, opens up. These shelves are built in. They are not adjustable. You're looking at a solid wood back. This is not a piece of paneling or plywood or something like this. The top is all hand carved. There is a knot and there are swirls at the top. Okay, now those uh, marks are naturally occurring. That's not damage. What looks like right here, this is a little bit of checking. Because it is solid wood, it expands, it contracts, it moves, it has a life because it's real wood, it's not simulated. So that right there does not go all the way through, that stops right there. And here there's some marks up there as well, that's patina. If you don't like it, then you might need fake wood. You know, you can get some of that, what they have, injection molded foam, fake Chinese import, like horrible stuff, that's what they sell today. That would be the thing for you. This is real wood, hand carved, nice quality. There is no glass here that has this mesh, which is actually very popular right now. This is from about 1980 something, you know, it's from the 80s, probably 20 or 30 years old, let's say. This is all this is hand carved. This again, real wood. If you go to the store today, what you're looking at here is being solid wood. You will go to a new store today, you'll be writing a thousands of dollar check, three, four, six thousand, depending on what the store you're looking, and you will assume that what you are buying is real wood, but you would be wrong. Most of a molding like this, when you see this intricate molding today, that's injection molded foam. It's all fake, it's all make-believe, it's pretend. So if you like a knockoff handbag or a fake watch, you can go to one of those new furniture stores, you can buy fake wood. If you want something truly fine, which is what we got, trulyfine.com, because this is real quality stuff. Today, no matter how much money you're willing to spend, you can't find something made this good, making this piece an exceptional value. One nice thing, this is what you call Bombay. It's a Bombay side. It curves on the side, a French Bombay. It curves on the side and it curves on the drawers. This has a curve going, a bulbous curve. This one curves inward and so does the top drawer. The handles are all solid brass. That's not some lesser quality, looks like brass, finished to be pretend brass. No, no, this is genuine brass. This is all hand carved ball and claw foot, ball and talon with the claws. Very nice, the shape of the side, very nice. This is a two-piece hutch. This just sits on here. You could, if you wanted to add a bracket, some people are worried about their china closet tops falling over, they got cats jumping around, I don't know what, you know, earthquake, something like this. You can attach them. Okay, this one, take a look back here. There's nothing, this has been like this from new. As a matter of fact, we have glides on this so that it moves. I'll show you the back real quick because this is worth taking note that this is all solid wood. You know, even the back, this is solid wood. There's no paneling, there's no plywood. The only thing I see taking a look right now is there's a plywood top at the curve, the very top here, because of the shape. If you didn't have it that way, you'd have a bunch of little spl uh, uh, slats up there and it wouldn't make a dust proof type of a seal on the top. So the top of this has a thin panel. On the top, we will do a, a little shot and show you the top is all hand carved and from where I'm standing now looking up at it I can see the tool marks on the top. We'll give you a close up of that and you can see how look nice that is. The back is all solid wood, it's two pieces and now also I have a nice cut out here. Let's take a look at the side there. It's very nice. It shows you the profile. Very nice. Sides very nice, front very nice. Beautiful carving, uh, mullions on the sides and on the doors. And uh, solid brass here, big key escutcheons. Now there is a sliding latch on the door, which is a nice quality detail. And this is a type of thing that you would find on an authentic antique French piece, which this is not an antique, 
but it has the quality of an antique piece. So you have a big sliding lever here, and that thing doesn't slide all the way up. When it's close to the cabinet, it slides up maybe like an inch, and that's what latches the door in. Now another thing worth noting, look at the way these are all fitted in here, the little moldings that hold the wire in. Very nicely done. This is actually an authentic style of a hinge, and we'll show you this. Nice, uh, I can show you on this one here, it's easier for you to see. This hinge actually slides into the door, and then these are screws that go through the wood, through the hinge, and into the front part of the door quite nice, something you're only going to find on a high-end piece. While the cabinet is open, you can see the way, even on the interior here, all these moldings, they have a nice uh, quarter round molding here, and the way they're fitted up, all the joints, the way that piece, this is a separate piece here to hold the wire in. Every bit of this is quite nice. I don't know that you can find something like this made new today, being solid wood with this type of workmanship, because I don't care where you are in the world. This is a lot of labor and it takes a lot to produce it and most people don't have this skill, which is again, again, to reiterate, this is all solid wood. That is not injection molded, fake, pretend, knockoff type stuff. This is real. It's a real piece, it's real quality, it's real good. This actually, I'll show you how this latch works, so I'll pull this down. This comes in, there's a latch at the bottom and you give that a little push, that hooks up up there. We got the key, there's a nice big lock here. Just listen to that, really nice solid lock. That comes through and that's what holds the door shut. Now, to take a look at it, you know, that's not perfectly tight, that's just the way that closes. It doesn't line up 100%, lines up 98%. Uh, it's a handmade piece, so that's just the way it is. It has some character. It's made to have character from new, nice piece. Two pieces, easy to move, solid wood. The top of this base, solid wood. The curved apron, incised carving that goes down along the apron, very nice.